Okay, we're gonna do another top 10. Here we're gonna feature Hart, who comes from Seattle and has been around since the uh, mid to late 70s. 76, I believe, was their debut, uh, led by the Wilson sisters. And I'm not sure exactly what they're doing today. Probably not not a whole lot, but uh, anyway, we're gonna let uh, we're gonna let Mike lead, lead things off here and give us his top ten and honorable mention songs. Well, this is this is uh, this is top ten songs based on their career from seventy five to eighty seven. Um, neither one of us, I believe, has the last six album studio albums they've released so oh, this is a little limited yeah so we're talking about uh we're talking about their their big we're, era we're talking about nine nine albums and uh, uh nothing from 90 on um anyway my my taste is going to be a little bit different i i shy away a little bit from the radio friendly songs um and they got some really good uh, deep track songs that got no airplay at all that I that I really like. And amazingly, I have nothing from the first uh, the first two albums. I'm not sure where Magazine falls, whether it was actually their second or third album. I believe it was their third album, but. Um, I think there were issues with magazine, but the first song um, on my top ten is is from magazine, and it's called "Just the Wine." And I don't know if you know know that very well, Mark. But I know it, but not. Yeah, no. it's, it's kind of a, a a mellow song, but I've I've always liked it, and it's it's a it's a great song. That's the only one uh, in my top ten off of off of magazine, which kind of was an obscure album in the, at the time. Um, from from Dog and Butterfly, um, I've got uh, Mistral Wind. And that is the only one. That's a, actually the last song on the album. It's wow. a bit long. It's a good song, yeah. But but yeah, it's a pretty pretty cool song. Um, again, a, a deep in the album song. Um, from BB Lestrange, I. Uh, Probably one of my favorite songs from them is Rockin' Heaven Down. And it's like I'm, I'm, I got like one song off of each album almost. Um, now here's, here's an interesting one. Um, off of, uh, Perfect Strangers. What's that? Off of, uh, I'm sorry, Private Audition. I was thinking about a song. Off of Private Audition, um, a couple songs. Perfect Stranger. Again, I don't know. I don't think it had any airplay, but I love that song. And, uh, Another song that got zero airplay called The Situation, which is a real cool song. So, as you can see, I'm uh, not picking out radio friendly songs. No, here. you are really going deep. You're going to, I don't even have private auditions, so. Oh, really? Mm hmm. Okay. Um, then, off of the. Uh, the next album, I've got two songs, oh, three songs, three songs off of Passion Works. Um, 
together now. Again, um, probably zero air airplay on yeah, that. None, yeah. Um, here's one that I know got airplay, Allies. Um, a ballad that got certainly plenty airplay and I've, I've always, always loved that song. And um, Sleep Alone. Another one of my favorites. And then I got, then I've got uh, two more. And one of them is off the self titled Heart album. Now, this one did get plenty of airplay, but I still love it. What about love? And lastly, off of Bad Animals, another one that got a lot of airplay, Alone. So those last two were pretty, pretty mm -hmm. gigantic hits. But yeah. Yeah. Um, I found in listening to them that I still, I, I still love them today. So going to the honorable mentions, I finally have um, two off of Little Queen. Nothing off of Dream Bone Annie, believe it or not. I still like the album as a whole, um, but. Uh, my first two honorable mentions are off of Little Queen, How Deep It Goes, and Treat Me Well. Love those songs. As you can see, the album cover there. Um, Dog and Butterfly, the title track. Um, off of Private Audition, Cities Burning. That got some airplay. I think that was the only song off of that album no. that got any airplay. No. Um, I don't know if you're a fan of that, but yeah. I thought it was. Yeah. I thought it was a damn good song. No, I don't. I don't know the album, but I know that. I know that song. Yeah, and there's another song deep, deep in that album that um, I just love and almost, almost made my top ten. Called one word. And going to Passion Works. Um, two songs from Passion Works, How Can I Refuse, big radio hit. Still like it, even though it mm. got a little burnage on the radio there. That was brief. Yeah, that's true. That's true. They hit it hard, but not for very long. And uh, Blue Guitar, kind of a cool little song. And lastly, on my honorable mentions, is from Bad Animals. And this one got some airplay. Who will you run to? I think it was the first song on first song on the album. Who will you run to? Definitely got airplay, but um, still still like the song today. <coughs> so that's my that's my top ten and honorable mention. And I will say I'm, I am a big hard fan, have been since um, since Dream Boat Annie came out. Um, kind of stopped stopped buying their albums um, into the '90s. Um, don't know anything about their their work in the '90s, but I know they had a lot of great a lot of great stuff in the '70s and '80s, and I still still love listening to them today. I still pull out their albums and listen to a whole album here and there so anyway okay. what do you got okay um, my list is going to be quite different from Mike's I figured that since I was quite different to begin with yeah he's um, my my list is definitely going to be geared towards um, radio songs because I, to be honest, I never was a massive fan of the band. So the deep tracks, it never, it never grew on me, and I never dropped. Maybe I didn't give it enough of a chance, but I, I don't have, I don't have deep tracks. 
I have probably what you would call, as I look at this list, kind of secondary radio songs. Not huge radio songs, but they're basically radio songs. Most all of them. Okay, so we're going to start with the first album, and um, not the reprise, but the title track, Dreamboat Annie, White Lightning and Wine, Sing Child, which I've always loved, and the ballad, How Deep It Goes, which has always been one of my favorites. Um... Then we're going to go to the second. Uh, boy, I don't know about these albums. I'm going to go ahead and just go to the songs. Uh, Love Alive, which I believe is from Little Queen. Yep. Um, title track, The Dog and Butterfly. Um, the title track to Little Queen. And then Straight On, which... It was a radio to tune. I like it. I never got burnage on it. I'm not sure what what is straight on from. Is it from magazine? No. Oh yes, yes it is. Okay. Yes, it is. And then um, rocking heaven down. So there's not couple couple similarities. Not many. Three or four. Um, and the last one, actually, I've got one. I got one more um, from Passion Works Allies, which has always been one of my all-time favorites. And I don't know if you know this. I don't know if you know this about Allies, but um, that was written by Jonathan Cain. No, I did not know that. Jonathan Cain. I may have who, known it sometime, but I don't know. Yeah, he came up and played on the last three Babies albums, and after the Babies, the last tour of the Babies. They toured with Journey, and then he ended up joining Journey after the babies disbanded. So um, when he was with Journey, he wrote Allies for Heart. Wow. Yeah. So here's my honorable mentions. Cities Burning. Alone. Minstrel Wind. Heartless, How Can I Refuse, and then one of the later songs, There's the Girl in Stranded, and let's see, and then another radio tune, uh, Kick It Out, which I always liked, like I said, it's not a not a deep track. It's not a huge radio hit. I lo basically, their the huge radio hits weren't weren't touched, but it, this basically focused a lot on their uh, some of their secondary radio tunes that that got a fair amount of airplay. But um, that's my list. Like I said you're definitely way more knowledgeable than I am. You know the deep tracks. You know all the albums, which I don't. I'm not, I don't have near the knowledge you do, but uh, that's my list. I'm done. Yeah, I, I enjoyed going through the albums, and it was a little bit of a struggle to, to knock the songs down to 18, because I had, I bet I had 30 when, on my first listen, and it, it was it was a struggle. I had no struggle coming up with 30 songs, and then trying to cut that down to 18 was difficult. But uh, so, meaning they've got a lot of good songs, and it, and um, you know there are not many not many uh, women led bands out there in the day. So it was no. It was kind of something new at the time, and it was it was exciting. Hearing women, other than a Pat Benatar or a Jefferson Starship, there wasn't really much out there. So yeah, those are two we need to cover. Yeah, down the road. Yeah, there's enough good stuff. 
Okay. Well, we're going to let it go. Thanks for listening. And uh, let me know what you think. And uh, check the like button, subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one, the Who's Up Next. Thanks.